Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The Haunting of Hill House. This begins our spooky season. What do you know about this? Uh, I actually don't know anything. The only thing I know about this is I believe it's from director of Dr. Sleep. Oh wow, okay. Which I really loved that movie. Yes. And we, we watched it for the channel. Mm -hmm. um, it was fantastic. I love the atmosphere that that movie brought. So. I'm really excited for this. I've heard great things, but I don't know who's in it. I don't know necessarily what it's about other than a haunting of Hill House. Yeah, and I think this is a standalone, even though I think there is a second technically season, but I think it has a different name. Yeah. So another kind of mini series for us. Yeah, we're kind of approaching it as a, a mini series. Yeah. So really excited to get into it. We'll be watching this throughout October and I'm sure we'll get scared. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. Hill House stood by itself against its hills, holding darkness within. Silence lay steadily against the wood and stone of Hill House. Definitely creating a vibe so far scary one i could never live in a house like this right just screams haunted okay so it says hill house then so we might be time jumping yeah we might see hill house now kind of forgot for a second we're watching like something scary it's okay Sam. go back to bed you scared i get scared too sometimes Ooh, i hate all of this already the bed lady. Oh, her again. The bed lady? Oh boy. Guess we better take a look. Just sell the house. What if she's hiding? She's long gone. But kids' dreams, they're like... An ocean. An ocean. That's right. Got the same speech. Now I know that bent neck lady is really scary. Bent neck lady. I do not want to see this bent neck lady. Your mother and I, we have to finish fixing this house. And then we can go, just like the last house. The dad seems nice. So it sounds like they're flippers. Yeah, just flip a house and move on. Mm -hmm. Dancing in the red room. No. The pandas aren't dreaming. Pandas, huh? Pandas don't eat macaroni. No good. Oh. What? The door's oh. open. I already don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> She leave how scary is this going to be i'm so fucking terrified <laughs> this is brutal already <laughs> fucking god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i threw out my neck <laughs> don't don't go Ooh. Luke, I'm going to need you to wake up. Mm. Oh, no. How are we going to make it through? I, I don't know. Ten episodes of it? My heart is just like on fire right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to watch this like right before bed. He was hanging there the whole time. Upside down, tangled up in his seatbelt. And that's how he died. Jeez. Like raindrops falling onto my face. I started to hear a car horn. She's getting haunted. And there he was, hanging there, upside down. The blood had all just pooled into his cheeks. It's terrifying. I should probably scream, and I screamed all right, and I ran. These waveforms are going to be a problem. And that was the last time I've slept in that room. That'd be the last time I could sleep. Yeah. I thought this was like a therapy session, but... A very interesting story, Mrs. Walker. Irene. Now, I wonder if this is one of the kids from the beginning, because we were at then. And I thank you for sharing it with me. I don't remember the kids' names, but I feel like this has got to be one of the kids. Wow, so he's written a lot of books. Haunting of Hill House, whoa. The way you write, I just assume. Other people's stories. Maybe my Carl will finally give you a story of your own. God, I hope not. 
How are your brother and sisters doing? So I think Steve is the older brother. Just tonight, then. I'll stay with her a bit. Hey, will you grab her blanket? Yeah. Thanks. There's Steve, Nell, I think the other boy's name was Luke? Yeah. Luke was the only one I remembered, so... <laughs> and he was the one who was just sleeping through all of it. It's interesting that Steve never sees a ghost in this house. I mean, we saw something, and clearly Nell's seen... Stuff. Yeah. No, why is she going to get left alone? Mm -mm. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> what did we sign up for? I don't need to say goodbye. A lot of people feel that way at first, but then they feel much better when they do. Let me keep sitting on my bed at night. Touching my hair. No. Poor kid. The sound in the series is crazy. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work, young lady. So at least four kids, right? I'm going to need it back. Oh no, what is this is open? Key? Yeah. It was hidden. It's going to like let something loose, some spirit. Something was moving. I saw the shadow under the door. No. If there's a pony in there, it's dead. <laughs> that door is definitely supposed to stay closed. We need more keys. It's an emergency. I'm looking at that shadow. It. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> then call Luke. I did. Straight to voicemail. Sold his phone for cash, or he's still in rehab. Jeez, Luke's having a rough time. Fine, I'll just handle it, shall I? That's why everybody dumps their shit on me, isn't it? I'll handle it. <laughs> Damn. So clearly they all are aware of this haunting, considering he writes multiple books on it. Yeah. Capture the supernatural? <laughs> don't believe in that word. There's natural phenomena that we understand, and then there's natural phenomena that we don't. So does it capture that? <laughs> She just asked like didn't answer my question. <laughs> yeah, simple question. What was your name again? Thanks, Paige. He's very calm regarding all of this. Mm -hmm. I and, mean, how many books has he written? But he's also never, he never saw a ghost in Hill House. So it's like, we know when we go in the past, he's never going to be around a bad situation. Yeah. He's fine. He actually got his 90 day chip today, if you can believe that. I hope you're well, Nelly. Definitely some strained relationships, I think. Yeah. So Luke and Nellie are not doing great. But Steve and I already forgot the older sister's name. They're doing all right. Yeah. Hi. Theodora. Who's Theodora? I don't think we've seen her. Where'd you come from? I was like, whose hand is that? She called, that's her hand. <laughs> What's that about? I'm just kind of a germaphobe. Um. That was really good. I have to work tomorrow. Early. Damn. Get out. We just did what we came here to do, yeah? Okay then. Jeez. Very cold. Hi. Okay, yeah, that's the older sister. They said you could live here. I wasn't expecting the pussy parade. Nell called me today. She sounded bad. I'm drawing boundaries, which is something you might want to look into. How many kids do they have? We only saw two girls, two guys. Yeah. Luke will show up when he needs money. I sure I like hope this you sound. wanted company. No. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> or is this the dad? Daddy. Okay, so this is the dad. Do you remember the bent neck lady? She's back. Oh no. Where are you? I'm at home. In bed. I'm gonna fly to LA. You, you, you. He's closest. So you go to him. I mean, he definitely believes her. Okay. Something on fire? Yeah, something's going on. Good night, Daddy. 
Where did you? No. It's all boarded up, but it's all on. That gave me a real uh, shining hotel vibes. Why? <laughs> We are too jumpy for this series. Get up. We gotta get out of here right now. Why? Does he, he see? Does he see the bent neck lady? Yeah. Oh, he looks injured. Oh. Just leave the door alone. There's some loud footsteps. Yeah. We're gonna run. Quiet. Oh my god. That's a loud door. Oh my god, this is so loud. I'm gonna carry you. You keep your eyes closed no matter what you hear. Do you promise? Oh my god, we know he never sees anything. Close no matter what. I wonder if there's a problem if you see her. Maybe, I don't know. This guy's a beast though. Oh, oh no. Get back in the car. I saw Labadil in the window. Oh. She was in Did he get everyone? <laughs> Who's Abigail? Where's mom? Oh, I thought I saw her upstairs. It's not mom. <laughs> what? The mom? Oh my god. We can't leave mom! Dad! Dad, I told you. Holy shit. Maybe the mom was like fighting the bent woman or something. And you stay with her. You keep your eye on her. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> that was so intense. Yeah. They got right into that. Something has to happen to the mom. It's like he's like an adrenaline junkie now for ghosts. So he missed out on it when he was young. Definitely could be. No. Nell, what the fuck? What is she doing? Oh no, this is a terrible time. <laughs> oh, that's Luke. This time's different. He's on the East Coast. I mean, the West Coast, I think. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, he's gonna have like a drop of water. Fuck me. All red. It's all warm from him. Oh my. It is raining outside. Oh yeah, maybe she just has a leak? Yeah, does she just have a leaky roof? There's a leak in your roof. I believe her. Most times they're just what we want to see. My Carl, like that. Because it's better than never seeing him again. I don't know. I think you need to check that footage for that thermal imagery. No, it was definitely red. Yeah. And when you said you wanted to do a book about the house, I understood that. I object, Steve. Let's calm down. Hmm. This is probably why everyone's estranged. He said it was haunted. Those are his he words. A wreck. Does he talk to you, Cheryl? Did he tell you what happened that night? I need to start a real life for my own family. We're your family, Steve. Definitely seems like he took advantage of the situation. Mom was mentally ill. It's a fact. I'll be damned if the apple didn't fall too far from me. Whoa. Oof. I'm. I'm sorry, that wasn't... So Theo was another one of the siblings. Yeah. Sounds like there was five of them. You published this. You know what it costs. Oh, well, he definitely goes through with it. It's interesting to find out that the mom had mental illness. Did she? Supposedly, right? Yeah. They're going to wonder why they aren't hearing from those kids. The media's already piling on. I'm sure. This type of stuff doesn't help in a custody hearing. It was a suicide. They confirmed it. It doesn't matter. Confirmed suicide? They'll pay you to walk the grounds, take some pictures. No one goes near the house. He knows. It's super fucking haunted. Then sell it. You need the money, Hugh. No. Wow. 
you want to keep the house your wife just died in? I don't think he wants anyone to go near it. Yeah. And I want to know every day that it's empty. Damn. And it sits there and rots. The Dudleys were taking care of it before they bought it. This dad's really just trying to protect everyone, his kids and anyone from going into that house. Yeah. Do we really have to go live with Aunt Janet? Steve does not seem like the good person in this. Yeah, so far. Something up with Nell. Uh, she may show up at the house today. At my house? <sighs> the house. Uh. But I'm sorry, you can just point it to me. I can come by and we can talk about this some more. Yeah, he's not doing very well with his relationships. I'm not liking this car either, considering the other guy was in a car. I don't like any situation. <laughs> For being paranoid. I am. So the people that lived here before us, the hills. These Dudleys are interesting. They lived all alone, in the night, in the dark. Tarot cards and Ouija boards and all that. And you know what those things do. They're parlor games. Connect to the dead. Do you know the Gospels, young man? He does. Mother seems totally fine to me at this point. Tao Te Ching, the Torah, the Quran, Greek mythology. Very good, ma'am. She seems fine. She's a little eccentric, but she seems mentally stable. I don't like inside. No rush, my man. I don't like inside either. Yeah. Who the hell are you seeing, Luke? Yes, TV and Luke. Cool kids. I like Luke. I know, he's so cute. Where do you get the ideas for these drawings? Luke has seen some heinous shit. Definitely seems like Luke and Nelly are the ones most affected so far from the past. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was their room. We're gonna have to learn the history of the hills, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Luke. Hey, hey, Steve. Okay. Let me see. I need the iPad. It stays here. Not even really trying to help him. No. Wonder if he at least tried in the past. I know it really isn't what you think. Good. Doesn't want to dig any deeper. Seems like it's exactly what he thinks. But I wonder why he. I mean, he lied to Nelly and said that the rehab said he got his ninety-day chip. I don't know. Someone's lying for yeah. sure. I needed a good scare. Is this really Nelly, or is she back in the house? Did you tell Luke where I live? Did you bring him here? I don't know if this is really Nelly. What's so damn important now? <sighs> this is not Nelly. Yeah, I mean, I said it's about Nell. I know, I just walked in and she's uh Nell was lying. She was at the house. This is fucking not Nell. She's dead. <gasps> she's dead. Nell's dead? <laughs> Holy crap. Did he just hear that? The dad on the phone? Yeah. I don't think... Steve, Steve just saw a ghost. Steve, you there? <laughs> Alright, that was The Haunting of Hill House. What'd you think? That was terrifying. <laughs> that was so scary. From pretty much the beginning. Yeah, the ambiance. Yeah. That the show created. That was terrifying. Definitely the atmosphere that's created. It definitely reminds me of Dr. Sleep. Because mm -hmm. there were some moments in Dr. Sleep where I was super scared. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe the director of that and the showrunner or whatever director of this is Mike Flanagan. So far, just top notch. Just scared the shit out of me. No, I am so scared to watch the rest of this. Like... We have, what, 10 episodes or 8 episodes? There's 10 episodes, so we're only one down. Yeah. There's a lot of mystery going on. We're getting introduced to, a, I mean, everyone since this is the first episode. But that end, man, with Nell, like, that was absolutely terrifying. Yeah, there was no way that that was Nell. No, I think, um, so I've seen the actress that plays Nell in You. Oh, is that the stalker girl? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's how I know her. And I think that's the only show that I've ever seen her in. 
um, very different <laughs> character that she's portraying. Yeah. But uh, there are a couple of familiar faces. I recognize the other sister uh, that works at the funeral home. Oh. And then the mom as well. The mom's definitely, I've recognized her a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got introduced to the whole cast of characters pretty much. Yeah, so you know, we saw the night that I guess the mom supposedly died by suicide. Yeah, I'm gonna have to assume that at some point the mother and father find the broken necked lady, bent la bent neck, what else is it? Bent neck lady. Bent neck lady. They must fight her off or something. The mom's gonna have to sacrifice herself to the point where it allows the uh, father to get all of the kids out of the house. Right. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, obviously there was some type of altercation because the dad's hand is injured. Yeah, there has to be some sort of scuffle or something. Right. So whether they're both fighting her or kind of like Nell, Nell looks like she's, it looks like Nell, but it's not Nell. Right. So maybe something happens to the mom and it is the mom that he's fighting, but you know, the mom had already died at that point or something or been possessed or whatever. So right. I'm kind of just hoping it's both of them fighting and not him having to fight his own wife. Yeah. But I'm sure we're going to see that play out at some point. But yeah, that was interesting. We, we got that whole setup and I honestly thought we were going to be spending a lot more time in the house in the past before shit hit the fan. Yeah, that was very interesting the way that they kind of use the time. Um, I also was anticipating spending more time in the past to kind of get it. And I guess I'm sure we're going to go back there. We're going to be in the past quite a bit. Right. I'm sure we're going to spend a lot of time in the past, but we've already seen like the outcome of the past. Yes. Yeah. So we have Steve. Steve does not seem like a great guy. He's obviously separated from his wife. Yeah. Wrote that book against his... Family. sisters and some of his family's wishes right um then we have luke who seems like he's a drug addict yeah he seems to be struggling with addiction has a history of just coming around the family asking for money and then leaving right but clearly he's seen things in the past too yes and i don't think it's the bent neck lady it must be a different ghost i think that he was maybe being tortured by or something in the past yeah, I mean, or it's the same. We don't we don't totally know. No, it could be. It's just it wasn't drawn with a bent, bent neck. That's true. And it looked like it was maybe a blonde lady. Yeah. Bent neck lady looked like she had dark hair. So we know that there's a family called, you know, Hills, the Hills family that live there. So I don't know how big that family was. Maybe the whole family is ghosts or something like that. Right. And then we have the Dudleys. I think it was the Dudleys. It's hard to remember everyone's name after just one episode, but like the keepers of the house essentially who don't live there. Right. She seemed a little bit off. Obviously she's clearly taking care of a haunted house. I think she knows that it's a haunted house. Yeah, she's seen things and for whatever reason she's okay with it, but they live on the property, but out of the house. Yeah. So I'm sure they've seen a lot. I'm sure a lot of stuff is going to come into play with them. Yeah. And the, the father, you know, seemed trusting to leave it to their protection. Yes. Um, and the father, my gosh, like how many times like he came into Stevie's room and was just like, I'm going to carry you, close your eyes. And that was just badass <laughs> to just run out there. Um, you know, like you said in the moment, maybe it has something to do with like, if you see her, you're kind of fucked or something. Obviously he's in this terrible situation where he might know the truth, but he can't really explain the truth or seems crazy. So he has to like take all this shit to protect his kids. The fact that he's keeping the house and his only goal was to just make sure it's empty and locked and, and just rots away in eternity. So he's really seems like a protector. Right. No, I, I mean, I like the dad. He seems like a good guy and it seems that really it's kind of Steve that sucks. Yeah, and I, I'm sure that's going to be the, the character arc of the show, I assume, is Steve having to take on this big brother, protect the family type of responsibility. We didn't get a ton of Theo. Not a ton of Theo, but she seems like she has her issues as well. She's germaphobe and- Yeah, and she's living in maybe a back house. 
Yeah, the older sister, Shirley, mm -hmm. who runs the funeral home, mm -hmm. uh, which, okay, surrounded by dead as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, so Nellie already dead. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah, and I'm very curious to see what happened. She... She's in the house. The house was like turned on. That had straight shining vibes. Yeah. Where it's like the house itself is alive and haunted. Yep. Yeah. All the lights were on. Um, very similar to the overlook. She was in there and she's just dancing around. And whenever I'm assuming she was in the red room. The red room. So is that the, the red room is the red door? Could be, yeah, upstairs. So, and then that's a callback to one of the children. I don't know which daughter, if it was Theo or if it was Shirley, but one of the daughters was in bed oh, in was, the beginning. It was Shirley, I believe. And yeah, she did say something about the red room in her sleep. Yeah, and I just remember hearing that because that sounded kind of similar to- Red rum? Red yeah, rum. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Yeah. So we've got a lot of things building already. I was not anticipating getting so many answers in the beginning. Obviously there's a lot of questions, but we did get a ton of background in this episode. Yeah, it did a really good job of giving us quite a bit of characters. I mean, we have five kids, one is already dead, and the dad and the mom. So we have interesting stuff. Did the mom commit suicide? Does she really have mental illness? Did she just die straight up fighting a ghost? You know, who was in the window? Somebody was in the window when they were leaving. Someone was in, was that the mom? Yeah. Like what sparked this? Did someone open the front door? Like, is this an anniversary date or something? Obviously we had the time 303, which whenever I wake up in real life and I see that time, I'm like, fuck me. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. What is it? The witching hour? Something like three that. Three o'clock. Yeah. Um, so hopefully I don't wake up at three tonight, <laughs> but yeah. So a, a lot of stuff going on. We, we got to see Steve kind of take a bigger role in protecting the family. I'm sure he is now that his, you know, sister is dead. Mm -hmm. But I assume we're going to have to gather everyone to go back and solve something in this house. Something is left unfinished. Yes. Whatever that is. Yeah, and whatever it is, got Nell, got to Nell. Is Nell dead dead? Or is she possessed in the house or something? Because how did the father already know? Did the father see Nell? Did he already, uh, was he already visited by Nell? Or is he already at the house and sees her dead body or something? Yeah, and then is someone, who was the person in bed with him? Was that his wife? We just kind of saw a mouth. Could have been, could have been his wife. Or bent neck lady. Or bent neck lady. So yeah, there's, there's a ton of questions. Yeah. But it did give us... Quite a lot. I'm surprised at how much information was given to us to set the scene in this first episode. Yeah, no, I'm definitely hooked. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a great show, but I am very afraid. I'm so terrified. There were so many moments during this episode where I was like, my heart is beating too fast. Like I need to just focus on breathing. <laughs> so that was rough. An amazing show, amazing first episode, tons of information, really intriguing hooks. And it's definitely going to be brutal to finish this out, but I absolutely got to figure this out because I feel like this is already setting up to be a, a show that's going to give you a lot of great answers, but a, a lot of great questions that it's going to make you want to see the next episode. Yeah, no, I kind of have a feeling we're going to be binging this. Yeah, just episode after episode. Yeah. Also, just to get through it as quickly as possible, to not prolong the scariness. Yeah, and to not watch it too late before bed. Right. So I'm super interested. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.